So now that our Google AdWords account is created, we are going to create our Merchant Center account. So we would like to go to Google, search Merchant Center, and we want to click Merchant Center by Google right here. And this is the Merchant Center landing page. We are going to click Sign Up. It's going to ask you to choose an account that you want to use. We're going to use the email that we just created. Enter your password. And pretty much right here is the sign up form. So it's going to ask you a couple of business questions and we're just going to follow along here. So where is your business based? We are based in the United States. What's the name of your store? So we will put the name of our dummy store and the URL. So it's very important to remember right here that you want to add the scheme before the URL begins. So the scheme is pretty much this right here, HTTPS. So we will copy that and paste it here. This is the name of our store with the scheme first. We do not want to be contacted by Google. Unless you want to, you can leave that checked as you wish. I do not. And we will click continue. And here are Google's terms and conditions. You can read this on your own. I will click yes. I agree to the above terms and conditions and click continue. And now Google prompts me with the website verification. So pretty much it says that my website URL is not verified and it is not claimed. So we will need to verify and claim our URL. So there are many ways of doing this. There's a file upload that you can do. This has never worked for me personally. So what we will be using is an alternative method. These are other ways of doing it. And we will simply use the first alternative right here, HTML tag. So it says copy the meta tag below and paste it into your site's home page. It should go in the head section. So we want to copy this right here. And we want to go into our website. So this is a dummy store we have created for this course. We want to go into our online store. We want to go into our theme and edit the code. Right here. We want to go into theme.liquid and right under head, we want to paste this piece of code. This is what we got from Google and this is what it's going to use to verify and claim our URL. So once that is there, I will click save and I will head back to the Merchant Center. And now that this is installed we will click verify and claim so we had a previous code installed there but now we are ch have changed that code so Google is prompting us with this message that there exists another merchant center with that same code so we will pretty much want to tell it that yes this is us and that we want to continue with this so to get rid of the other merchant center and go forward with this one. So if this is the first time that you're doing this, you shouldn't see this. It should be fine for you. And once you click claim your website, it should be 100% fine. And you should not have this issue. But we will click continue here. And as you can see, now we're verified and claim. So now we can click here, finish. And now we are here in the Google Merchant Center dashboard. As you can see here, we have our merchant ID, another number that you would like to write down somewhere and keep handy, just in case you don't get locked out. What we want to do now is we want to link this Merchant Center to the Google AdWords account we just created previously. So we want to click on these three dots right here, click on account linking, and we see here that we have this AdWords customer ID. 
Now it's very likely that Google knows what email we're using for our AdWords account and what email we are using for our Merchant Center. So it already knows that this very well might be the same AdWords account that we want to link. But just to be sure, we want to check this number with our AdWords. And if we see here, 866-691-2593. Eight six 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 nine one two five nine three. So it is the same number, and as you can see, the status is not linked. And all we want to do is go right here and click link. So now our status is linked, and we are good to go. Want to go back to the home, and pretty much going over a couple of things here. We will be going over these things further in the other section. You want to set up tax shipping. So we can go over this a little bit quickly. If you go under business information, this will contain everything from your business. You want to fill all this information in. Your website, as you can see, is verified and claimed. If you want to add your logo, you can do so here. Products, this is where your products will be showing up once we start importing. We will get to that later on in the course. You want to add tax settings pretty much what we will be doing here is we will be configuring our tax based on what state we are located in so we are located in Florida so we will be putting this do you want to tax shipping sure and we'll click Save this is very important if you do not enable this tax setting you will have issues when importing your products so it's very important that you do add these tax settings and we want to add at least one shipping meth shipping service as well. And what we want to do here, for simplicity, we will add free shipping. Service area, United States. Currency, US dollar. Delivery time, three to five days. Now you can you can arrange this as you see fit and it depends really on your business. Um, this is just an example that I'm doing right now. So this is pretty much the shipping rate, how which which products it will affect. Depending on your product, again, you will filter this. I'm gonna set it up for all products. And we are going to create a single rate for all orders. So going here, we're going to go on a fixed rate of $0 because we are doing free shipping. And we will click here, continue. So we have this free shipping rate set up. We'll click save. And we are good to go here. As you can see, this is enabled. And we are done here with the Merchant Center. So in the next video, we'll be configuring the Google Shopping app, and that is going to be a very important video. So I can't wait to see you there.